everyone. I'm Stacy, the 911 Stitcher. Welcome to my channel about cross stitch and other crafts. Today is Wednesday, the 16th of June, 2021. This is video number 65. Welcome back everybody. A big hello to all my new subscribers. I wanna first off say thank you so much to everyone who commented in the last video, wishing my grandmother who turned 95 a happy birthday. Thank you guys. That was, she really loved that. I read some of the comments to her and she said to give you all a big thank you for thinking of her. She's doing so great. She's strong. Her, she, her energy level was a lot higher than mine. I'll tell you that. <laughs> And she has much better legs, as you guys know, than I do. <laughs> so anyway, thanks again, guys, for all the wishes. She loved it. Happy June, everybody. I can't believe it's June. Four months until Halloween or four months until October. My favorite time of year is October, November, December, fall, Christmas time. I love to stitch Halloween. I love stitching Christmas. So I... I did pull out the one and only June decoration that I have, to, and I thought I would show you guys. This is from the Snowflower Diaries. It's a blog that offers some free patterns. I wanna say she has some that she charges for, but these, this particular one, I think it's the months that are free. But anyway, take a look at this. This is June, very cute. It was made into a trifold, and here's the back with the bees. Isn't that cute with all the bees? I love the bee fabric. This is on 28 count light blue Monaco. I believe I got the fabric at Hershner's. And the eyes are beads. I'll show it up close so you can see a little bit better. I really liked his shiny eyes. I don't like to do French knots, so I changed that out and I did beads for the eyes instead. I don't know if anything else was changed. I believe I used DMC floss, but anyway, I thought I'd pull that out for you guys to see. Very cute. So check out the snowflowerdiaries.blogspot.com and check out her free patterns. Really cute. Let's see, I got a lot of cross stitching news to tell you guys about. I'll, not much for a life update. I will tell more throughout the video, but for now, let's talk about some cross stitching news. I mentioned in the last video a, a, a gem of a cross stitch shop two people that go out of their way to try and find supplies for you, fabric, charts, you name it. You message them, they'll try and find it. Henry and Sandra from sandrasstitchstash.com. Now, instead of me going searching through their website, I just send them an email or I send them a message on Facebook. They are on Facebook. They have two groups. One of them is the storefront, which is Sandra Stitch Stash. And then you have the actual stitching group where you post your projects, you post your progress on cross stitching, and you participate as a group. Now, I like the group. It is Sandra's Stitch Stash Cross Stitching. So check out their Facebook group. You can also message them through there. They will both, uh, uh, you can also message Rita Turner. They all of them help you out. And will, like I said, I sometimes don't go on the website I don't even think I've ever ordered through the website. I just message them. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm looking for this color fabric. Do you have anything that might look good with this chart? You know, some fabric that might look good with this chart. Do you have this chart or floss? They have extensive DMC, so I don't have to right now because I'm just barely off crutches. I don't wanna stand in the DMC aisle at Joann's or Hobby Lobby. And in my last order I had oh my gosh I had a lot of floss because I did a full coverage they found all the floss for me and shipped it to me it was so easy they ship fast too so they have been so kind to offer all of you 15% off of your order if you use the code Stacy s-t-a-c-y so thank you Henry and Sandra so much I really appreciate you guys doing that Again, mention the code to them when you're checking out. If you message them like I do, just mention, hey, can I use this code? There's no expiration date, so it's open for you to use any time. 15% off of your order is pretty cool. So thank you so much, you guys. I will also put that link down below to their website and I'll link, I'll post their Facebook pages as well. StitchCon, I'm faithfully wearing my StitchCon shirt. <laughs> So as you guys know, I was going to go to StitchCon Weekend B and I waited, I tried so hard, you guys. I waited until the last minute to try and get on that plane. It was due to leave Saturday morning 
and I just couldn't do it. My, my leg was so swollen and I also, I wasn't going to bring this up, but I'll go ahead and share it with you guys. Since you've been on this journey with me through many, many surgeries on my leg, I have torn the back of the knee. I have retorn it. I have internal stitches inside and I see the doctor in a couple weeks. So he's on vacation. That's why I can't get in any earlier. Not that it's going to make a difference because I've already torn it twice. And it was something so simple and stupid and... Anyway, long story short, I'm having a little bit of a problem. So I was not able to go to StitchCon. I had a few people message me and say, hey, we tagged you in some pictures. Did you get to see them? And the reason I'm bringing this up is because I was removed from the StitchCon Facebook group. And I'm sorry, guys, I won't be able to see your pictures. I won't be able to comment. If you want to email them to me, you're more than welcome. Or if you post them and I follow you on Instagram, I'll be cheering you guys on. So, but no, I don't get to see your pictures, you guys. And I'm sorry about that. I can't comment. Hopefully next year, we're going to try again for next year, but I already have my plans for Galleria. If Needlework Galleria happens in St. Charles, Missouri this year, I think it starts September 22nd. Look on the just Google, I'll see if I can put the link down below if I don't forget, for Needlework Galleria in September. I will be there. And I've got my room booked and stuff, so I'm ready to go. That'll be probably much more doable for me. Uh, so yes, yeah, StitchCon I was not able to go, and um, I will try again for next year for sure. Hands across the sea. I noticed, I saw... Nicola had posted that they are going to be offering some more PDF charts on some of their larger pieces. She did post Louisa Colomore yesterday. I'll show a picture here. Now I have that as a paper chart. I will, I will do a giveaway because I'd rather have PDF. If I can find out, if anybody knows, does Hands Across the Seas PDF work in Pattern Keeper? If I can use it in my Pattern Keeper, then I'll give my copy away as a giveaway to you guys. So help me out here if you guys know if it happens to work um, PDFs for Hands Across the Sea. Let me know if it works in Pattern Keeper. That'll be a future giveaway then. Let's talk about a couple free charts that are being offered right now that are amazing. Thank you to all of you guys that Melissa, she's the first one I'm going to mention. Her blog is called Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting and Stitching. She is also on Instagram if you look under the Pinker and Pumpkin Quilting. I'll show a picture of her Instagram here. But the free pattern is on her blog. I will post a link to her blog down below. And it is cute. Buzz buzz. I love it. <laughs> so I'll link down below her blog and then check her out also on Instagram. Thank you, Melissa, for doing these free charts. She has more. So take a look through her blog. It's, it's a beautiful blog. She sets up different cross stitch pieces and different, I think she does, well, of course, quilting, but she does an arrangement to, and takes pictures that are just beautiful. Gives you great ideas on how to decorate, which I'm not good at. I need to look at pictures. Here's another free chart by Susan Aki. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, she is Yard Girl GRL60. Show a picture here. She offered a free chart and it is called Spring Sampler. Here's what it looks like. Now, I had a lot of problems finding it. Two different ways you can find it, which I'll try and tell you. I went straight to the RFL because they're the ones who uh, showed it on their Instagram, I think. That's where I saw it. R so I went to RFL.com to the Thread website. It's not on there. I looked everywhere and I couldn't find it. It's on their blog. <laughs> I didn't realize that until I looked for like a half an hour. The blog is arabuzz.com, A-U-R-I-B-U-Z-Z.com. I'm going to put it down below. So go to their website, scroll down, click older posts, because I had to, they've had more recent posts. Click older posts till it comes up. You'll see it and you can click on it. Then once you click on it, you scroll down. It's got a little arrow that says download sampler here it's kind of you gotta kind of have to watch for it so that's one way arabuzz.com look for that you could also go to susan aki's instagram page that is again i just showed it yard girl 60 
You know how you can click on their profile picture and it'll give you all the links to their different sites? Click on the one that says hashtag Arafil Spring. That'll take you to the pattern. So hopefully you guys can find it. It's like I said, it's a little hard to find. They suggested, I saw on a post, it, they suggested if you're using the RFL thread, do uh, buy two spools. Try to put, uh, it should be good enough to, if you use two spools. Let's talk about another free chart. Heaven and Earth Designs uh, has offered a free chart. If you go to their website, at the very top, you'll see click on free chart, you'll see free charts, click on it, and here it is. It is called Freebie Harmony and it's by Ching Cho Quick. It has 90 colors. <laughs> so if you're interested in doing a free heaven and earth design, there you go. It's a beautiful chart. Lots of people have asked me about where they can go to support my channel and to offer maybe a donation to giveaways and shipping costs. Now I have kind of I have always said, no, you know, don't worry about it. I've got it covered. No one will ever pay for shipping costs when you win a giveaway on my channel. So people have been asking me, hey, I'd like to donate for shipping. Can I send you giveaways? You know, I have newer charts. Can I send you some stuff for giveaways? You're more than welcome to, but people have asked me, can I donate? And at first, like I said, I kind of put it off and I didn't really, I don't, you know, I thought, no, I don't, I don't want you guys to have to feel you have to donate to my channel. My YouTube channel will always be free. I'm never going to join Patreon or whatever it's called. I enjoy doing this, you guys. I really love doing it for free. I do not profit from this. Other than the commercials on YouTube, I do get like $100 a month, which goes to shipping costs for giveaways. So I decided to do the buy me a coffee. What that is, you're not really buying me a, a cup of coffee. <laughs> but what it is, it is an, a link. I'll put it down below in the description box. If you you know you guys know where that little description box is for YouTube channels. If you want to click on it, click on buy me a coffee and then you can put a donation if if you want to support the channel and support giveaways and shipping. But something I want you guys to know, I'm not going to be using it for cr cross stitching supplies. My gosh, these are all my charts. I have plenty of charts and all your donations will go towards more giveaways for you. So basically I want you more than anything to know it goes back to you guys. It goes back to all you viewers. So giveaways and more ship, uh, shipping costs and more giveaways. So thank you, you guys. Thanks for asking. I did decide to go ahead and set up a buy me a coffee. So I appreciate it. If you want to donate, you're more than welcome. But again, you're never obligated to. Okay, Facebook glitch. Let's talk about if you're a part of the cross stitching, enchanted stitches, magical stitches, full covered stitches, you know that we have monthly, well, it's not me, but I'm a part of all three of those groups. My progress for, especially for full coverage, really bummed me out with this Facebook glitch. What's happening is either you can't post or post that you have, if you're not familiar with these groups, they have stitch challenges, which I also have in my Facebook group, Stitching 911. We do challenges, I do giveaways, and again, your buy me a coffee donations will also go to giveaways for that group if you're a part of it. Now, the Facebook glitch I noticed, what, what you do is they give you a challenge. One challenge that I'm in is travel around Iceland. It's a lot of fun. They give you all these cities and they give you the mileage between each city. So when you're working on your cross stitch, say one city to the next city is 600 stitches. You stitch, or it's 600 miles or kilometers. You stitch that many, 600, you post a start and a finish, now you get to move on. Once you finish those 600 stitches, you move on to the next city. I had like three cities done, one, two, three, all across the country of Iceland. All of my progress is gone. I was so upset. I started this January 1st and my progress is gone. So I don't know if the Facebook glitch for, for you guys that are in these challenge groups like I am, it's been a bummer. I If that doesn't come back, that has really made me rethink on whether I'll do these challenges again, because that really sucks. I ordered from Garon Stitchery, and I want you guys to know it took them eight minutes to package and ship my order. I am not joking, eight minutes. <laughs> 
I can't say enough about Garon Stitchery. I will post the link down below. Gary and Ronnie are amazing. They make beautiful, Ronnie makes beautiful project bags and Q-Snap, the little, hold, uh, the little um, I can't think of the name of what I'm trying to talk about. It goes around your Q-Snap to keep your charts clean when you touch your charts. Anyway, I've bought lots of stash from Garon Stitchery and I just can't say enough about them. Eight minutes. That's 480 seconds that it took them to package up my order. And then later on in the day, it was shipped. So you guys, thank you. Awesome. Totally awesome. They also have a Facebook group too, Garon Stitchery. G-A-R-O-N. Okay, we have some upcoming video. I have some upcoming videos coming up. A lot of people asked me about the Jonah blanket that I showed last week. This is not crocheted and you don't use knitting needles. This gorgeous blanket made by Jonah Hands on Instagram and YouTube was made by him using his fingers. The yarn that he used, I ended up buying some because I'm going to copy him and I'm going to make the same blanket. And the yarn I chose, it's the same brand he used. It is Bernat Alizé Puffy Yarn. Here's what it looks like. Here's when you pull it off the skein, this is what it looks like, it's loops. And you're probably going, well, how do you make a blanket with no hook or no needles? The type of, what, you, it, what it basically does is you loop these yarns, to get, uh, these yarns together like this, and you use your hands and you make the whole entire blanket using this yarn. Now I decided, a lot of people asked me if I was going to make one and I said yes, somebody asked, would you do a video on it when you get started? So I will, I'll make it a separate video from my regular YouTube videos. It'll be all on Bernat Alizé yarn and I will start the blanket. I chose plum, this color is 111. It says Puffy Color 111. I found a really great deal on Amazon. These are about $11, $12 a piece. I found it for eight, eight or $9 on Amazon. So I got, I think with a baby blanket, it takes maybe, I have some free charts here that I got off of yarnspirations.com. Anyway, this is a baby blanket you can make, which requires two or three balls. Then they have bigger blankets you can make, such as the one I just showed. Again, these are all free patterns on Yarnspirations. I will put a link down below. Here's another little baby blanket you can make. And this one requires three balls. Now the bigger blankets require, I wanna say like eight balls. So it does get a little bit expensive. But if you watch on Amazon, they have discounts. You can find some. I got mine, I think, for 7 or $8 a piece, which is pretty good. Anyway, this is plum color. So coming up, we've got the beginning cross-stitch videos are coming up this weekend. They start this weekend. And I will have a special crochet. I keep saying crochet. It's not crochet. It is fingering yarn. It is uh, where you loop it together. You connect the loops together to make a blanket. And I will show you when I get started, I'll make it a special video. Let's talk about Galliana Cross Stitch Designs on Etsy. Now, before I forget, Elaine has offered 20% off of any of her charts, but I don't have the code yet that she offers. So take a look in just a little bit when I get the notes down below, and I will put the code that she offers for you all to get 20% off of her designs. Anyway, I had a member in my Facebook group, Stitching Numbers 911, who finished the Galliana sampler. I'm gonna show what it looks like on Etsy here. This sampler is really cool. It has hidden objects related to 2020 in the chart. I had no idea until I saw Dawn's finish in my group. Now I asked Dawn if I could post a picture of her finish and she said yes. So I'm thrilled to have a picture of it here on the floss tube today. So the hidden objects, I asked Elaine and she gave me a list of what's hidden in this chart. Here's a picture of Dawn's finish. And while I tell you about the symbols in hidden in the chart, you can take a look, see if you can see them. There are keep two meters apart, the COVID symbol, a lock and key, 
closed door, World Health Organization initials, kangaroo and bushfires. And then these are references and pictures that what we were allowed to do or new hobbies that we took up during lockdown. So take a look at the chart again. You'll see books, gardening, such as butterflies, flowers, a watering can, lots more time for stitch, stitching and tea. And the last reference she says is the hardest one to find. Look at the top and the bottom. You'll see a film reel for all the extra TV that we watched. That is so cool. So this is called the Galliana Sampler. You I just talked to Elaine from Galliana Cross Stitch Designs and she says that the code to enter when you purchase a chart off of her Etsy shop is numbers 911 Galliana with two L's two zero. So again, there is no end date to the discount, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Elaine. 20% off of any Galliana cross stitch design in the Etsy shop. And Dawn, your cross stitch finish is amazing. I loved it. Thanks for letting me show it. Okay, I wanted to shout out a new cross stitcher. He is fabulous. He makes me laugh. I love the music intro when his video starts. Everything about his video makes me laugh, makes me happy. Check out Chris, and I'm gonna show a picture here. Chris Cross Stitch, which is X-R-O-S-S, -S, Cross Stitch. So check him out, Chris. You're doing a great job. Your videos are fun. I love your progress. And I will, I just saw that he posted a video last night, I think it was. So he's up to five videos now. So check out Chris on Cross Stitch uh, on YouTube. Okay, let's talk about giveaway winners. Al Forest was up and so was Jardin Privé. We had this Al Forest chart that I accidentally ordered twice. The winner of this chart goes to Amber Harper. I'll show a picture here of her entry. Congratulations, Amber, send me an email. Stacer5, S-T-A-C-E-R, number five at AOL.com. The next one we had was Jardin Privé, Patchwork ETE. Isn't that just adorable? The winner of this chart is Carol Hebgen. Send me a message, Carol, congratulations. I don't know if I spot your, pronounced your last name. Hebgen, Hebgen, congratulations, you guys. Send me an email, This chart, these charts are yours. I will mail them as soon as I can this weekend if you get it to me soon. I am still looking for the giveaway winner for the White Witch. If I don't hear from you by the next video, I'm going to pick another one. But the winner is Vivian Wiltshire. So Vivian, get a hold of me. This is your chart. I'd be happy to send it to you. We do have some giveaways for this video at the end. I'm also going to show new releases at the end too. So let's say let's see what I've been working on. I have a finish. Yay, this was number four. I think it's three or four for my Stitch Mania progress in the month of May. I finally got Crow's Lullaby by the Primitive Hair finished. That is your giveaway, my chart. If you'd like my chart, you're more than welcome. That will be today's giveaway along with some floss, which I'll show at the end of the video. Here it is. Eee, look at that. <laughs> How fun is that fabric? It is Old Salem by Primitive Hair. And I got it all done. Here's up close. This is 30 count. So it's kind of a loose open um, fabric, which was a little hard because sometimes my needle would fall out <laughs> of the hole. But this is my finish. And I will send this off to a framer. Isn't that just so pretty? I really enjoyed this. I am, I love anything with crows in it and uh, that's it right there. Thought there was something I changed in this. I No, maybe not. I think this is just the way it is. But that fabric is called Old Salem. It is beautiful. It's coffee dyed so you can even smell the coffee when you when it arrives. That's it. Crows Lullaby by the primitive hair. It was so much fun to stitch, I really enjoyed it. Let's show some more progress. I did finally get Stacy Nash, the stables at Hollyberry Farm. 
I got it out of restriction. It's been, <laughs> it has been put on restriction for a while because you guys know that I messed up on the grass. And there are a few mistakes in the charting, so keep an eye out. They're pretty obvious, so keep an eye out if you are working on this chart that there are some mistakes. I looked online, I couldn't find where it showed if there were any more. So I guess if there are, I'll find them. But this is on 32 count Wren. It's a fabulous chart, don't get me wrong. Every chart, every now and then is gonna have an error. So that's not a big deal. But this is my progress on Stacy Nash, Stables at Hollyberry Farm. I have started the house. As you guys can see right above the grass or the, I think it's a path, right above the path I started the house here, and then I also finished this area here. I did a little bit more border. I am using mostly called for over dye floss. I'm gonna show the border up close so you guys can see how pretty that orange and the red look. Again, this is 32 count Wren by Picture This Plus. And that's it. I'm gonna continue working on that this week. How fun is that? And I ironed my fabric for you guys. <laughs> okay, let's see, what else have I been working on? Uh, let me pull up this one while I am get, I'll show you Quakers Japan. While that's powering up, I'll show you the Jardin Privé. This is a PDF, which, oh, here it is. PDF, Jardin Privé. Here it looks, here's what it looks like. You know, I think I'll show a picture because this is kind of faded. I'll show a picture of the actual chart here. So I have gotten done quite a bit. I don't know if I'll have it done for, there is something going on right now with Colorado Cross Stitcher. She put together a really fun thing called, on Facebook and Instagram called Cross Stitch Camp. It is a one month, pick a project you can finish in one month. And of course I picked a large one. <laughs> anyway, here's my progress. Maybe I'll get it done, probably not. <laughs> I chose Exude Design Red in Mariska's, I think it's called Mariska's Red. I'm gonna show this up close so you can see that cute little teapot with the, with the tea and the steam coming out of the tea. Isn't that cute? So cute. Anyway, you can see the variegation, especially in that tree. Well, you can see it up here too. And so it's a variegated floss, Exude Designs. And here's what it looks like all together. The fabric is Fortnite Fabric 32 Count Milton, which is kind of a cream. And I'm just using Anchor 403 Black Thread. I want to show you my progress on this chart. It is North American Mammals by Ciro Marchetti. It's available through Heaven and Earth Designs. This is the chart. I am working top left corner. Oh, brother. Uh, let's see. Let me see if I can get this without it. Okay, I am working up in here. So you can see the yellow and the brown sky, and I'm getting real close to starting to see some antlers. You're not going to see it in what I show you right now, but that's where I'm working. You'll see mostly the sky and you'll see the changing of the colors of the sky. And here's my progress. Just ignore the blue lines that I use for my progress. So down in here, I should start getting into some antlers, which is gonna be fun because then the animals start forming and that's gonna be a lot of fun, but there is a lot of sky. So I have to work more sky. <laughs> Work on some more sky. There you can really see the sky changing. So I will show this again when I get more progress next time. And I'll also show Winter Majest Majesty when I get a little bit more progress on that too.
Let's talk about some giveaways. I'm going to give away, number one is my Crow's Lullaby chart. If you guys want to use it, it is brand, it's like brand new because I make a photocopy and I, I highlight as I go. So the chart has no marks on it. If you would like this chart that was mine, the, my finish, you're more than welcome. In comments below, just put the word Crow, C-R-O-W. And that's the word I'll search for when when I pick a winner through the random YouTube put selector. Number two giveaway today is Classic Color Works. It is a variety of colors, five different, five different colors. We've got blue corn. We have onion skin, pumpkin harvest, chocolate mousse, and we also have blushing beauty. So these this package will be for one winner. You'll get all these flosses and I'd be more than happy to send it to you. Somewhere in your comment, put the word floss and that's the word I'll search for. Let's talk about some new stash that I got, some new charts and a couple things of floss and fabric and I want a giveaway. I just received it a couple weeks ago. I'm so excited. A few videos back, I mentioned Emily C. She's a floss tuber here on YouTube. She has amazing projects and finishes. You have to check out her videos. Emily C. hosts a fundraiser every year for, she's also a social worker, so she works with foster children. She hosted something called a Duck Derby where you raise money for the foster children that are in the system. And she also had giveaways and I won one of the giveaways. I received, if you guys can believe this, all of these charts from Fox and the Rabbit and Blackberry Rabbit, which is, they're together. Wait till you guys see these charts, they're beautiful. The first chart, and I won a project bag. She had it all together and she mailed it to me. So these are the ones that I won in the giveaway. Blackberry Rabbit, Dragonfly Dreams. This is one I will absolutely stitch. Isn't that gorgeous? So that's the Blackberry Rabbit called Dragonfly Dreams. The next one that I got, Fox and the Rabbit, Mary Ann Simmons. Awesome. Fox and the Rabbit has a new floss tube out. They did one video so far, check them out. They, let's see, Fox and the Rabbit designs, Jane Joanna Wilkins, 1884. I can't believe I won all of these. There's more, there's a whole stack of them. This one is called Sarah Newman, 1822. I had better get stitching and finish these projects that I'm working on so I can start some new ones. <laughs> this one's Sarah's Pin Cushion, Fox and the Rabbit. That is just so awesome. I love, I can't believe it when she emailed me that I won. This is called a B C and this is also by the Fox and the rabbit. No, Blackberry rabbit. Sorry about that. Their husband wife team that do designs. I think the wife does this one. This is another Blackberry rabbit called the garden box. It's pretty garden box. The next one is called my country home by the Blackberry Rabbit. It's cute. I don't even know if I could ever make that. I'd have to send that to a finisher. <laughs> anyway, My Country Home, Blackberry Rabbit, and the project bag. Look at this. Isn't this adorable? And there's goodies inside. I won all of this from Emily C. So thank you, Emily, so much. She drew my ticket or she drew my name. Inside, there is a little pen um, thread keeper, the little car on it. There is a card she sent. So pretty. There's some floss. This floss is Lancaster Red Flatfish and Onyx. These are by, these colors are beautiful. Weak Style Works. The last one, Onyx, is by Gast, Gentle Arts. There's some, a little bit of uh, fabric. 
And, oh, I bet you it's for this, duh, <laughs> a free chart. I'll show it real quick. So all that floss was for this free chart by, it just says, oh, it's by Lottie Da, Hand and Heart. Very cool. So that's my giveaway. My, my, my win. I can't believe it. Okay, let's show some more floss that I got. Forbidden Fibers. They have a Facebook group and a website for forbiddenfibercompanyco.com. They had Neil Diamond themed floss. Well, of course, I'm a huge Neil Diamond fan. And I mean, it's funny because he was like my mom and dad's like generation, but I grew up listening to his songs. I've been to two of his concerts. He's fantastic. And anyway, they did Neil Diamond themed floss. These are all the colors. Look at that gorgeous floss. So this is You Don't Bring Me Flowers. It's pretty. This one is called Holly Holy. These are all of his, these are songs of his. The next one I got is Forever in Blue Jeans. <laughs> now I'm going to sing that song all day. The last one I got is I Am, I Said, another Neil Diamond song. So this was through ForbiddenFiberCO.com. Join their Facebook group. They've got some mystery boxes that they do. They have yarn that they do, that they make. It's beautiful. I got my color in cotton. I'm a part of their monthly club. These are beautiful colors. I like that glazed carrots. And this is what the club with the little package that you get every month from Color and Cotton. I also am a, am a part of their fabric club. This one is called Garden Path. I'll put a white board behind it so you can see. It's kind of a cream color, maybe a hint of green. Tiny, tiny bit. Let's see. I got some fabric from Laura, tropicalstitches.com. She is amazing if you're looking for something or if you have a chart and you need some fabric dyed she is so helpful she will help you with anything she does have an etsy etsy shop tropical stitches again when you search put it all together as one word but also visit her website tropicalstitches.com anyway i happened to see this on her etsy's colors on her etsy shop but i didn't see 32 counts so i asked her she says oh i'll dye you some i'm like that is awesome <laughs> This one, one of these is called butterscotch. The other one was called ginger. And I don't think I have, oh, I do. They're labeled. This one is butterscotch. That's pretty. And then this one here is ginger. So you get an idea of what those colors look like. That's really beautiful. Thank you, Laura, for doing that. That was, talk about great service. I can't recommend her enough. She's awesome. I got a project bag from Denise dot, dot, Goose Designs. She knows how much I love Halloween. And she had this fabric and she says, I'm thinking of you because I know you love crows and I lo know you like Halloween and haunted houses. Look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Denise. Awesome. Dot Dot Goose Designs on Etsy. Again, put it all together when you search. Her name's Denise, and she's in Wisconsin, I think. Yep. Yep, Wisconsin. Green Bay, Wisconsin. So your bags. She makes gorgeous, gorgeous bags. That is just right up my alley. <laughs> so that was from her. I did manage to get, I saw this on Made by Michelle McGraw on YouTube, Meyer. Isn't that an amazing fabric? If I did black thread, like a silhouette, I think that would look so awesome. So I got some of this off one, two, three stitch. I also got the chart, Fox and the Rabbit, Elizabeth Cooper, 1866. I bought this one. I think that's really pretty. Those butterflies are really pretty. I did get uh, my Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher magazine, which will probably be a giveaway. I am not much of a patriotic, like, I mean, there's some patriotic, I guess, but not everything. There's one in here, this B, a Punch Needle. I will, I want to do that. 
and then I will probably give this magazine away, but I, I definitely want to do this one first. But these are some of the, this is the back of the magazine, so you get an idea. There is cross stitch in here along with punch needle, but I'd like to do that punch needle B. That's what it looks like. I get it. It's a subscription. And the last thing that I printed out finally is Little Robin Designs Clarissa Beaumont 1875. This is on a website, Little Robin Designs, I think it's .com, or is it an Etsy shop? Let me take this out. I want to say it's a website. I will link it down below because I'm not seeing the website address, but it's called Little Robin Designs. And that's what it's called, Clarissa Beaumont, 1875. Look at that little kitty down, is that a kitty? Yep, and a little dog. So I did print this out, it's a PDF. I'll link the, I'll put the link below. Okay, let's talk about some new releases that came out. This is everybody's favorite section of my YouTube videos. <laughs> new releases, let's talk about Mirabilia, Twisted Mermaids. How beautiful, I love Mirabilia's. Makes me wanna get mine back out. It's I have been working on it, not enough progress though to show you guys. Next we have Romy's Creations, Home of the Free. We also have that I've shown on Instagram. Now this is unique because you order through Instagram, you send her a direct message on Instagram. Her name is Perunas Vet, I'll show it here. I've showed her before in the past. This is her newest release called Antique Shop. Your invoice, so you send her a message on Instagram, she sends you a PayPal invoice. You will see, it will say 600 rubles or something like that. Don't worry about it. PayPal will convert the money for you into whatever money you use, euros, pounds, dollars, whichever. It automatically converts. So if you see 648 rubles, just it's about $9, so nine US dollars, give you an idea. So just send her a direct message through Instagram. And if you don't hear from her, send her another message because sometimes she's like, I didn't see your first message. <laughs> Next, we have Twin Peak Primitives Noel. Very cute. After that, we have Whilst Iris Naps. We have Matilda Isabella Creasy, 1852. And next, Barbara Anna Designs, 22 balloons. How cute is this chart? Now here's where you're gonna get the chart. It's a little confusing, but it's doable. You are going to go to the website nitka, nitka.ru, and you order it from there. I will link it down below for you guys. I believe they're on Instagram, Barbara Anna, is that where I saw it on Instagram? But anyway, nitka, nitka.ru, and you can get it from there. Shannon Christine, she has a new 2021 Halloween subscription that starts on July 1st. Now these will be available even if you don't subscribe to a monthly club that she's offering, but you will get 20% off if you join the club on her website, shannonchristine.com. So here's what they look like. You will receive two patterns a month. It will start in July and it will end in October. So that's eight charts that you'll get. These are the first four and there are four more mystery charts after that, which will probably look similar to what I just showed. ShannonChristine.com. Core Ibatakure. Very sweet, they gave us something here in the US for 4th of July. It is called 4th of July in Love, the cutest gnomes. And here's one, an Etsy shop. It is Fairy Wool in the Wood. Now, when you're searching on Etsy, make sure you put it all together. Don't put any spaces. Sometimes Etsy's a little weird on their search feature. Put Fairy Wool in the Wood. I'll show you a picture here. This one is called Sea Time. Isn't that so cute? 
Last but not least, we have Owl Forest Misty Butterflies. Look at that gorgeous floss that goes with it. So beautiful. Okay, guys, I'm going to wrap it up for now. Don't forget, oh, I am going to post a few pictures of Max at the end of the video if you'd like to watch. Make, uh, remember, when I put the notes down below, it takes me time. So give me about an hour after the floss tube video uploads. Give me a little bit of time to type out the notes and I will get them to you. I'll provide some links to some of the places that I've mentioned. Buy me a coffee. There's a link down there if you want to support my channel. If you would like to donate to more giveaways, if you'd like to donate to shipping costs, you guys are awesome. You're not obligated to. Again, this floss tube will always stay free. It will always be free. I'm not going to any paid subscription things or anything like that. So if you'd like to buy me a coffee, <laughs> the link is down below in the notes. And I did have someone ask, where are these notes? Some people have problems finding it. Look on my YouTube channel and look for that little triangle. I'll post a picture of it here. Click on that, the top one, and it'll open up all the notes for the video. Follow me on Instagram. I am 911 Stitcher, all spelled out in letters. And my Facebook group is Stitching Space Numbers 911. You're more than welcome to join. Again, if you knit, if you crochet something along with cross stitch, join us. We'd love to see the finishes for both. There are two questions that you answer. That just gives me and my friend Rita, who's my moderator in the group, gives me an idea that you really are a cross stitcher. Just answer the two questions and you'll be good to go. Max's photos and Deuce's photos are coming up in a few minutes. Thank you guys. I appreciate you joining me and I'll see you next video. Bye guys. What do you have? Let's see.